Hi guys, it's Bezos here and today we're going to be doing nice, long, squelchy drone. And to build that we're going to be using a wavetable and a couple of native effects from Ableton. Okay, so without further ado, let's first hear how does this sound sounds. Then when you release the keys, it's going to sound quite a long time, around 20 seconds. Okay guys, no further ado, let's start. First we're going to need Wavetable. So that's my favorite synth, I can't just stress that enough how much I love it. So we're going to use both oscillators, but we'll start with the first one. We're going to use this Saw Duo one. Sounds like that, ugly, but okay, let's go. Number two, we're going to use Quad Saw. That's the one, okay, perfect. So we're going to also use a sub. Switch it up for a second on minus one, slightly less visible. Not so bad. Okay, then the filters first. Let's go with the filter one. Somewhere around here, we need two filters and they will have to be split. So the first filter is operating on the oscillator one and then the second filter on the oscillator two. Okay, and the first, if we're doing drones, what we have to do is to uh, make the envelopes quite nice and long. So first thing, 20 seconds of sustain. That's crazy, but yeah, believe me, that's going to work. And we're going to open that sound a little bit slowly. So like two, three seconds, something around that. And DK again, uh, not till the end, like I'd say six, five seconds. Let's check how it sounds. Now when we release, it's still going to sound a little bit. Not too bad so far, uh, but nothing special at the same time. What are we going to modify? We're going to create another envelope for the filter. So that's going to be low again and slow and really taking a long time to release and, and uh, to decay as well. Very similar to the amp envelope. We could actually use the amp for that, but yeah, we can also modify. So it's better to create two so we can then have easier modification. Wow, let's do that, guys. That makes life so much easier. I forgot about that. Now, LFO 1, really, really slow, but not extremely slow. LFO 2, uh, even slower like that or so. With the LFO 1, we're going to modify a position of oscillator 1. Just a tiny bit. And with the LFO 2 as well, but in the other way, so it's going to be a bit random. Getting louder, which reminds me about what? Limiter. It's still far, but yeah, let's get ready just in case. So we go to audio effects, dynamics, limiter at the end. Let's set it to minus one just in case. Thank you. Now, okay, filter two. Filter two will be a band pass. So like this one, 12 dB per octave. Let's go here around that place. And we modify that filter to frequency we with LFO, with the envelope. Let's see how it behaves. Oh yeah, okay, I should go minus, so let's go like that, so it's going to be a bit darker. And uh, filter one frequency the other way around. Let's go, sorry, not here. Let's go this way, let's add this a little bit more. Let's go down with it, no, that goes too low.
let, let it flow, whatever it can flow, so the sounds can just go there and back. That's fine. Also, resonance, we can we can modify that a little bit as well. So let's go resonance here. Filter one, three, filter two resonance. So they go the opposite ways. Let's get crazy with the modifiers. So all the LFOs and envelopes, we can just do whatever we want, basically. That sounds not so bad. How does this behave? We also need to modify that too. Let's go with the LFO. Not here. What did I just do? Here. And that the envelope tree will be quite important. Now we're gonna do it like much shorter. So it's gonna hit the top. Let's fold it a little bit here. If I'm going too fast, you can always scroll back and play it slower. That's okay, we're not going to be modifying this warp and fold with the modifiers. Let's leave it as it is. And now, unison. Shimmer mode, 15%. Now we're talking, not too bad, eh? But I'm missing that, that little squelch on the top. Let's do something about it. So what we can do, we can also first go on the second oscillator octave down, so minus 12. And detune it a little bit. Oh, that sounds interesting now. Let's hear all of them together. Wait. There we go. Let's uh, do a little bit of modification for the gain of the sub oscillator. So we have it here. And we're going to use LFO just to punch it a little bit here, a little bit there. Now, panning, we're going to go with one oscillator on the left ear and the other on the right and they will be switching themselves every now and then. So we're going to have to use LFO, let's say LFO2, this one is a little bit, oh, sorry, LFO1 is a little bit faster. So we go panning, good luck, minus 25, minus 20 is fine, of the first and then we'll click on the second, click on the panning and then go oscillator pan here, plus 20. now okay let's do a little bit of a drive that's perfect okay let's design some effects we can first compress it a little bit so all the very quiet sounds will be much louder and all the loud will not be that loud. We go to what effects, dynamics, compressor, that's here. Okay, and let's see what it does. Maybe it's like around three will be fine. That's perfect. Now let's do some drive and overdrive and saturation. I have a really cool idea on how to do it. So let's go to the drive and color and use saturator. saturator. Okay, now let's go for the like a soft sign, a little bit of a drive that can be loud. So let's go down with the output a little bit. 
even more. We want to go even more quiet because we will need another type of drive. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to press Command G or Control G to group this one with itself. But we're going to open that tab, rename it Control or Command R and write saturation. OK, now we're going to create a new chain. And in that second chain, we're going to put a Redux here. And now let's listen to the Redux only. Let's make it really ugly. Let's go down on the chain level around minus three. Actually on both of them. And let's pan the Redux. Let's rename it first. Redux. Let's pan it to the right, so, or whatever you prefer. Like 15 will be fine, and then minus 15 on the other one. So let's hear them both together. I hope they're not too loud. Okay, what we want to do now is to map the dry wet of both the effects to a macro. So let's click map here. We are in the Redux, so click dry wet 100, map it here. Command R, Control R to rename Redux. Now we're going to go here, saturation, dry wet again, map it here, rename it saturation. Let's click minus a couple of times so to get rid of the unused ones and then map and then we can hide all of it. We just have two nice knobs where we are. We can take the effects off and just or just leave them here. I think we're going a bit too loud here for some reason. Yes, because we have two signals at the same time and they are being quite quite loud so let's go minus six on each let's type it's gonna be quicker minus six even more minus nine minus nine that's perfect Next, we want to add some echo and reverb. So let's go to the echo first. What effects? Delay in loop. Echo, let's put echo here. So echo, let's go one fourth. This way, let's do ping pong. That's what I like. Let's do 100% wet and then let's group it together with itself. Rename it echo. Let's go minus six decibels on that and let's another create chain, rename it clean. So clean signal. That's going to be minus six. Let's see how it sounds. We can actually go minus three on that. Then let's map this echo here. Make sure it doesn't go above minus three. Let's rename it echo. So we can keep it 100% wet, but we can then take the effect off by just turning this knob. So let's click that and let's leave only one knob and let's hide everything else 
that's fine. Quick echo. Now we're going to do a quick reverb. What I like to do is the convolution reverb, but you can use any reverb, even the third party plugin, doesn't matter. We're going to do exactly the same trick here. So I would recommend just to duplicate that, open that again, and just to swap this effect in the echo tab for a reverb. So let's go to reverb, convolution reverb in my case. Here, let's rename it to reverb. And let's leave it clean. All the mappings will be kind of the same. Just rename it reverb. And let's put a dry wet signal to 100%. Now we have another knob with just a reverb on its own. We can take echo, we can take reverb. We can play these to create our own sounds and that sounds actually quite nice. And we can EQ that a little bit just to get rid of the low frequencies. That sounds solid so far, so let's hide everything here. What we also want to do is a little bit of a equalization. So the best thing to do is, and the really easy filter would be the channel EQ. And let's put it just like we just after compressor. Why not? And then that's done. We can just put a little bit more low frequencies like that. Take some highs off the mids or boost the mids a little bit. Sounds huge already. Okay, that's done for me. So we have a really nice squelchy pad, like a drone, which can be used for cinematic and everything and is really thick and really loud. Uh, what we can do a little bit tidying up. So what I would recommend is to open, to group this all together first. All of it except for the limiter, which well, you can use the limiter actually, it doesn't matter. So Command G or Control G for Windows. Let's open the macros and we're going to play with the macros a little bit. So we're going to leave the wavetable. Actually, one more thing. Let's design what the mod wheel would do because obviously we want to change some things. So let's go to MIDI and when we have the mod wheel here, we can go, for example, warp the first oscillator a little bit. Filter to frequency up, filter one frequency up. Let's open everything, filter resonance up a little bit, but we're gonna do just the tiny incrementations. We're gonna just do tiny steps because we don't want to overdo. Uh, and then uh, go down. Let's see how it changes the sound. Not so bad. More subs, loads more subs. A uh, little bit more drive and maybe more resonance for the first filter. Well, let's go with the filter to frequency down instead of up. Or it doesn't actually make sense. Let's leave it on the plus again. We hear this squelchy little thing like the dirt and dust that comes from the saturation redux. And now what we're going to do as we grouped it all together, we're going to assign some macros to it. So first, let's hide this. We don't need that anymore. We won't be using that. We're going to not be using the compressor channel EQ. Let's map low here, mid here. Uh, here we don't need to rename anything, that's perfect. Now, saturation here, redux here, echo here, reverb here. Done. That was two seconds making the macros. Let's unmap it and then we can hide everything. Boom. Boom. And then we can save our preset by clicking this. Let's call it first. Uh, 30. Squelchy drone. Yeah, and then we can just click save. Third is what you done. Done. Perfect. Now let's listen to it again.
still sounds. Still going. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the sound we've created today and I hope to see you in the next episode of Sweet Sound Sunday or my regular weekly episodes as well. And just go down to the description box and see what do I have here? Some nice and cool links. Anyway, did I mention that I... Please subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Uh, okay guys, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Cheers.